York School. Call is indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. The front glass has been broken out of the school. They're unsure why. Hello, I'm Pastor Ron Buttram. Welcome to Prophecy Dateline on LiveFaithTV.com. We're going to bring you the truth of what's really happening behind the news. What is really taking place? It's plain and simple. The Bible tells us we're in the last days, a time of which the world has, has, will never see again, but a time of great tribulation. Even as we're beginning to film, we hear that there's a shooting in Pennsylvania where four people died. But we're not just talking about that. What has happened? I'm going to show you a PowerPoint presentation and a video of what is really happening. Evil is beginning to surface. Evil is beginning to show itself awakening in the world. So watch this PowerPoint as we step through what is really happening. Let's look at this as we go. Thus saith the Lord God, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. An end is come. The end is come. It watcheth for thee. So Ezekiel 7, 5 and 6 says that the end is come. The end is come, and it watches for you. How could it watch for you? Because it's alive. Let's go to the next slide. Connecticut school shooting. It says, remembrance to those who have died. Innocence is in the way of the plans of evil. Killers, call of duty obsession. This young man was addicted to a video game called Call of Duty. Now, let's look at this. This slide here is directly from the Batman movie. Now let's watch and see as I progress the slide. Let's look one more slide. Let's see. Look at it as it begins. Look at that man's hand as he points down to that telephone charging set. Now let's take a look at the next slide. Look. What does it say? Sandy Hook. Gotham City is in Sandy Hook. Oh my. How could there be? Is Hollywood that smart to predict the future? No. I tell you what's happening. Hollywood's following evil. That's what's taking place. And the devil is showing his hand. But remember, he kill, steal, and destroy. That's all that he knows. He knew and he had planned for this young man to go to the school in Sandy Hook to do the shooting. And he showed his hand right there in the midst of this. Isn't that amazing? Now we're going to show you a video, a video which you will be able to see Aurora. Aurora, does that sound familiar? Aurora, Colorado, where the shooting took place in the theater. Does evil know the future? Especially when they're planning your future. Without Christ, the devil's already got your future planned. So what's happened? Evil is revealing itself. The end has come. The end has come. And it's watching for us. Wow! That's what it says. Written 2,500 years ago. Yet it's taking place today. See, the word of God is really true. It's coming. So Sandy Hook, Aurora, Colorado, all these shootings taking place, even today, at this moment, the shooting that took place in Pennsylvania. What's happening? As we get closer to the end of time, the real end of time, not the false one, what the devil tried to set up. See, what's going to happen now, after the day, people say, oh, this is not the end of the world. This is nothing but a fake. Wait to 2013. You're, gonna, you're going to see the real end of the world coming. Today is the day of the church. Church, you better prepare yourself. You better understand you have got to learn how to pray. You've got to look at yourself in your heart and say, is it my time? It is your time. We are the hands and the feet of our God. 
it is up to us to take a stand. Learn how to pray. Learn how to see Christ. So Sandy Hook, you were a victim of our nation's sin. You were a victim of us moving away from God and removing him from our schools. The Lord is a gentleman. When he's asked to leave, he will leave. But who shows up? The same governor who said evil has visited Sandy Hook was one of the governors who wanted prayer out of the schools. But they were praying this past week at all the funerals. There's consequences of our sin. And our nation is facing those consequences. Innocent children are paying for the cost of our sin. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. We are standing with you here at Prophecy Dateline at LiveFaithTV.com. Tune in for more stories of such as this, the truth of God's word. Pastor Ron Buttram, thank you. Shalom.